everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am talking all things cleaning in today's video. So there is a cleaning buzz going on in YouTube and Instagram and it's fantastic because nothing more calming for me than having a lovely clean, organised and tidy home. And I do get a lot of comments in the comment section on some of my videos saying how do you keep your house clean, um, you must spend ages cleaning, but the rea reality is I actually don't spend a lot of time cleaning and I'm going to share my cleaning routine with you in this video as well as two DIY cleaners, um, one which is pet friendly as well. I am making the shift from the heavy chemical shop supermarket oil, the cleaning oil where I used to absolutely love going. I'm trying to not use any of them anymore and I'm turning to DIY cleaners for a couple of reasons. One, kind on your pocket, all of that amount of money I would waste on the cleaning oil. So kind on your pocket, to kind to the environment, I did not, I was ignorant and I didn't know how much shite is in all of them. All of them, like, cleaning things, when you read the back of them, it's like, okay, what am I actually breathing in? What am I putting in my body? What's going on my skin? So, so they are kinder to the environment and they're also kinder to you, so you're gonna save money, you're gonna save the environment, and you actually get to have fun, cute little spray bottles and yeah, they're grand. <laughs> so I basically have four ingredients. I have some Castile soap, vinegar, water, and baking soda. In Ireland, um, I think in the US you call it bicarbonate soda, we call it baking soda. Okay, essential oils and cats. I spent hours trying to research was there any essential oils that were non-toxic to cats and I got conflicting information and basically essential oils and cats don't really go hand in hand. They are toxic to them, basically their liver cannot break it down. So if you were diffusing essential oils, it's not good for them because they ingest it into respiratory, they get it on their fur, anyone who has a cat knows they, they're always cleaning themselves. Which is why I actually wanted to do some nice ones because I mean, I was bleaching my floors. That's getting on their paws, that's getting on their skin, they're ingesting that. So that was a big reason why I wanted to make the move. So I'm gonna show you how I made two cleaning products. All surface and window, that is basically all I have been using. I might make a second solution for dusting my teacups, I might put a little bit of olive oil in it. I read that olive oil is good for furniture, you mix it in with I think the Castile soap. But basically let's get in and I'll show you what I use to make my all surface and my window spray. To make the all-purpose surface cleaner I simply mix some of the Dr. Broner's Castile soap with some water. My mixture is roughly three parts water to one part Castile soap. You can also add essential oils, but to keep it pet friendly, I skipped with the essential oils with this because basically it's gonna be on the surface, it's gonna get on their paws, so I didn't wanna add any essential oils to this recipe. But feel free, if you don't have pets, you can. To make a DIY glass cleaner, I simply mixed half vinegar and half water in a spray bottle. I added a few drops of lemon essential oil just to take away from the smell of vinegar because I do find the smell of vinegar a little strong, although it doesn't last, the smell of vinegar doesn't linger. It's also much easier to use a funnel, but I did not have a funnel. When using the essential oils as well, just make sure that the cat, I mean, Blondie doesn't go near the windows, I have blinds, but if your cat does, um, maybe skip the essential oil and just leave it as is. Also, don't forget to add some labels to your bottles so you know which one is which, although you can tell by the smell, but it's easier to add some labels. So when it comes to cleaning my house, I do a little bit each day and I tend to clean as I go. So that way I'm not having to spend loads of time come the end of the week cleaning my house. On a daily basis, because I have pets and you'll notice the cats like to jump on the counters, especially when I'm at work. So on a daily basis, I always have to wipe down the countertops in the kitchen, in the living room, and then I have to sweep and hoover the floors. So I have to do this on a daily basis mainly because of the pets. So 
probably notice I don't have a dishwasher, which doesn't bother me. I grew up not having one. So when it comes to the dishes, I am in the habit of cleaning as I go, as I'm cooking, or clean as I'm cooking as well. So I don't have loads of dishes piling up. I do still have fairy washing up liquid to do my dishes. I am gonna try using the Castile soap and making my own dishwasher liquid. What you call it? Washing up liquid. So I am gonna try and make up my own once this bottle runs out. My kitchen table tends to gather lots of crap like everyone else. I end up having loads of craft stuff, paintbrushes on the radiators, it collects junk. So every day I do have to clear up what has been on it and the cats like to jump on the table too. Also the random piece of wood that was on my table. I'm actually doing a wood turning class um, for winter and that was my really poor wood turning <laughs> but I am only on my third class so I'm hoping I'll get better. I do try and hoover on a daily basis just to keep on top of the pet hair. I have a love-hate relationship with Henry the Hoover. He gets stuck on the corners, he ends up rolling over, I get the Henry rage but for now it's me and Henry the Hoover. Some days if I'm really tired I will just sweep but I do find the best tip to keeping on top of pet hair is hoovering. I also hoover down the couches as well because Petsy and Blondie like to sleep on them as well. Once a week I'll give the teacups just a light dusting but generally I find once a month is enough to keep the dust at bay with these and I find using the damp rag is best because a duster kind of lifts the dust into the air and resells. I find using a damp cloth is best for getting dust off them. For cleaning the toilet I put down some baking soda and vinegar, when you add the vinegar you get that lovely kind of fizzing sensation. So I left that to sit in the toilet bowl for a good 15 minutes, 20 minutes while I cleaned the rest of the bathroom. Then I came back to it and just gave it a scrub. Generally I only have to give the bathroom a deep clean once a week. I will keep on top of it during the week and then give it a good clean on my day off. I find mainly the bathroom can just get a bit dusty and I hate mould and things like that so I do like to wipe down the shower after using it to prevent mould. I used the DIY glass cleaner on the glass of the shower door and I have to say I was really impressed with how it finished. It was streak free once I gave it a little buff. I will mop my floors once a week but I do find in winter I have to do it a bit more often just because with the wet feet and wet paws um, especially in my kitchen, my kitchen can get lots of paw prints and footprints, especially going in and out to the wheelie bins and things like that. So generally once a week, sometimes twice a week to mop the floors. super easy to keep on top of the bedroom. For me, bedroom just accumulates maybe mess, so piles of washing and things like that. So daily basis I will just make my bed, I'll change my bed sheets once a week and then hoover once a week. Because I don't spend an awful lot of time here, it doesn't get too dirty. is my 
clean house well as clean as I can get it and it doesn't take me too long so daily weekly and then once a month a bit of a deeper clean we found this video useful if you do one thing try changing one of your cleaning products to a more healthier kinder one and um, maybe try the Castile soap if you are like me and you are not a massive fan of the vinegar. Also, I need to say, so I'm using the Dr. Broner's Castile soap. Castile soap, I think, is just vegetable soap, but I keep calling it Dr. Boner. <laughs> I keep saying, I oh, get yeah, the Dr. Boner's. It's not Dr. Broner's, but I keep saying Boner, so sorry. Castile soap can be used for everything. You can use it on your body. I used it on the floors. Um, I just really diluted it, and it actually worked on the floors. I thought it was gonna be streaky, it wasn't, it was grand. On the back, you can, it'll tell you how to dilute it. So you can do face, body, hair, shave, toothpaste. Don't know if I try that, it might be um, soapy. It also says hand laundry, so you must be able to hand wash with it. Haven't tried any DIY laundry cleaners, but it is something I'm going to try. So you can use this on yourself, but you can use it, just dilute it, so you can use it on your dishes. I still have my good old trusty fairy liquid in the sink, but I am gonna make up a dishwash, dishwash, uh, dishwashing solution. I actually made two little charts, two or three little charts, daily, weekly, and monthly, and I'll put them on my website. So if you head to my blog, I'll try and pop, I'll try and remember to pop a link into the bio. My cleaning cupboard has gone from a cupboard to a caddy. It's now shrinking and shrinking. I'm using up the last of my store-bought stuff and then, I don't think I'll go back to them. But I plead with you, if you do one thing, swap one thing from the shop for a DIYer. Also, share your cleaning recipes down below. I don't have a recipe for laundry stuff. If you have a laundry recipe, share it below. We can share all the info down there and encourage each other to, yeah, make some DIY ones. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. You can catch me on Instagram as well. I'll pop my handle here. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you all in next week's video. Bye everyone.